हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू गुरु मंत्र सीरीज एपिसोड नंबर एट पार्ट टू ऑफ एप्लीकेबिलिटी ऑफ अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नाउ अंडरस्टैंड एप्लीकेबिलिटी ऑफ अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स रिमेंबर इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट वन इज नॉन कंपनी एंटिटीज एंड सेकंड वन इज कंपनी एंटिटीज नाउ अंडरस्टैंड नॉन कंपनी एंटिटीज डिवाइडेड इन फोर लेवल्स लेवल वन लेवल टू लेवल थ्री एंड लेवल फोर सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड लेवल वन इज मैंडेटरी एंड लेवल टू थ्री फोर हैविंग सम एक्सम्शन सो अंडरस्टैंड नाउ लेवल वन वॉट आर क्राइटेरिया फॉर लेवल वन entities whose securities are listed on stock exchange whether in india or outside india all banks financial institution or carrying business of insurance for them level 1 is applicable business with having turnover more than 250 crores in immediately preceding financial year and business with a borrowings of 50 crores and holding and subsidiary of the above are called as level 1 Now what is level two? In level two, criteria are two fifty crores less turnover, but more than fifty crores, and borrowings less than fifty crores, but more than ten crores, holding and subsidiary of the above. Level three criteria are very easy. If business is having turnover less than fifty crore, but greater than ten crores, and borrowings ten crores less and two crores more, and holding and subsidiary of the above. And level four is which are not covered under level one, level two, and level three. Friends, now understand. corporate entities or company entities for them there are some relaxations for some accounting standards accounting standard 15 employee benefits 17 segment reporting 19 leases 20 earning per share 25 interim financial reporting 28 is impairment and 29 provision contingent liability and contingent assets so these exemptions are given to smcs small and medium companies remember these are applicability of accounting standards thank you